Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the new week. It's Monday. And yesterday was a very important day in the life of the Christian church. It was Pentecost Sunday, and that's the day when we remember that God poured out his Holy Spirit on, on the followers of Jesus. A very important day. Pentecost just means 50th. The 50th day after Passover. And it was a day that the Jews normally celebrated the giving of the law by Moses, as well as uh, remembering the first fruits of the harvest. So everybody was there. Thousands and thousands of people were there on the day of Pentecost. The Holy Spirit is not like Jesus or God. We can think quite clearly about those two persons of the Trinity, or perhaps a bit more clearly, but the Holy Spirit is a bit more mysterious. And so in the Bible, there are a lot of pictures that are given to help us to understand. I love the uh, title of a book that was called The Go-Between God, and that was all about the Holy Spirit, because what the Holy Spirit's work is, is to take what is of Jesus and impart it to us. Jesus says, he will take of what is mine and he will declare it to you. And so everything that God has done for us, all that Jesus has shown to us and given to us, is made real to us in our experience by the Holy Spirit. And there are a number of different pictures that he used. Well, there is, if we remember the story of Jesus' baptism, there's the dove. And the dove has always been a symbol of peace. Jesus said once, my peace I give to you. When the Holy Spirit comes into our lives, there's the blessing of the peace of Jesus, which will take us through all sorts of difficult um, experiences. Then there is the symbol of water. Jesus said the Holy Spirit will be like a spring of water rising up within you imparting life, because without water there can be no life. So the very life of God is imparted to us. And then there is the picture of oil. And oil in the Bible was always used for anointing. When people had a special calling, a special job to do, oil was placed upon them. So the kings were anointed and the prophets um, uh, were anointed. And the priests were anointed because they were given the special job that they need the equipping of God. And for us, if we're going to be followers of Jesus, well, we will also need that anointing with, from the Holy Spirit. And then, if we remember, on Pentecost Day, there were two symbols of the Holy Spirit. And the first one was fire. And that picture shows us the picture of cleansing. Cleansing, because fire burns away all the dross. And when the Holy Spirit comes into our lives, he enables us to slowly but surely get rid of all that stuff in our lives, which is not in keeping with the will of God. And then also there was this symbol on Pentecost Day. Wind. Jesus said that the Holy Spirit is like a wind. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know where it's going to. But you can feel the influence of the wind. And so the wind stands for the power that enables us to, to go forward with God. Jesus said to the disciples on that day when he ascended into heaven, don't go anywhere, wait here, wait for the Holy Spirit. Don't do anything until the Holy Spirit is given to you. In a few days, you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit, soaked in the Holy Spirit. So how are we filled with the Spirit? Well, if you take... If I give you a glass of water that is full, and I ask you to fill it with apple juice, what will you do? Well, it's already full. So what needs to happen is, you need to empty it. And now that it's empty, you can fill it with the juice. And so if we're to be filled with the Holy Spirit, our calling is to put ourselves on one side, to empty ourselves of our own way and our own desires and ask God to fill us with his spirit that enables us to live by his power and his love, following his desires. It's a wonderful gift that God has given to us. 
Remember the pictures. There are a lot more pictures of the Holy Spirit as well. And I pray that as you go into this day, you will be blown by the wind of the Spirit, burnt up by uh, the Spirit, anointed by the Spirit, and given life by the Spirit. May God go with you. God bless. Bye for now.